friends, thanks for stopping by Books and Jams. Today I have for you another unboxing from Sips By. I am so thrilled to share with you my second box that has come from them. Last time I was able to taste a few of the teas today. I've only tried one so far. Before I get into what came in my Sips By box this month, I wanted to let you know that Sips By is a tea subscription box. Each month you get about 15 to 16 cups of tea, different types, and you can go on their website and create a profile for yourself and choose what things that you like and don't like in tea and they will curate a personalized box for you each month and then after you receive your box and try the teas you can go on and rate the different ones that you tried and that will help them to better create a box of teas that you'll like even more maybe the next time they also give you some discounts for the teas that come in your box each month. So if you're interested in purchasing a full box or amount of tea, then you can do that as well. Each box comes with this little card that explains the four different teas that are given to you. This month I only tried one so far. Oh, and it's made a mess all over this bag. I'm glad I put it in a baggie. The first one that I tried is called Tea Kitten. Um, it, the brand is Tea Kitten, and this is Tart Tea to the Part Tea, and it's an herbal caffeine-free tea. And the little description on the card says, we're not kitten when we say that this is the per perfect copycat to fruit punch. Brew it hot and cuddle up with a mug, or brew it cold for a refreshing, fruity delight. You got to. Got to? Gato is Spanish for cat. You got to try this. I did try this and it is just like drinking hot fruit punch. I loved it. I love fruity teas anyway and I do add stevia to it so I did sweeten it a little bit but I'm gonna try it even without the sweetener because this has so much fruit in it that I think it might be sweet enough on its own. It has hibiscus, apple, papaya, currants, elderberries, black currants, raspberries, strawberries, sunflower, and cornflower. Lots of berries, lots of deep red coloring. It was delicious. So I'm thrilled to have some more of that one. Then the other three I have not tried yet. The next one I'm gonna tell you about is another loose leaf tea. This is an organic Chinese white tea by Made of Tea and nothing else. By Mudan White Tea, country of origin, China. And in this one, it's a premium Chinese white tea. It's plucked during the early growth of the plant and minimally processed. It has a smooth, delicate flavor and provides a gentle energy lift any time of day. This is a low caffeine tea. The other white teas that I've tried before, I've really enjoyed, so I'm hoping to really like this one as well. I'm getting more and more into loose leaf tea, so I'm thrilled that they give you a mix of both loose leaf and pre-bagged tea. I have three bags of this next one. This is by Asheville Tea Company, and it's an Asheville Gray. This is a high caffeine tea, from comes from Asheville, North Carolina, which is my neighbor to the south. This Earl Grey brunt, it does feature some locally grown calendu calendula flowers. It's a black tea with calendula ber and bergamot essential oil. So there you have that. I am not a huge fan of straight Earl Grey, so I'm wondering how I'll like this one, but I'm willing to give it a try. We'll see. My brother, however, loves Earl Grey, so if I don't like it, <laughs> He's my go-to, pass it on to him person. The final tea that's in my box this month is a black, another black tea by Ahmad Tea in London, and it is an English afternoon tea. This is also high caffeine. For those afternoon pick-me-ups, this will be perfect. This is also a black tea with bergamot, so I'm wondering how similar this will be to the Asheville Gray. Both are high caffeine. I'm very interested to give these a try. Hopefully I like them. I know that I did like the black tea in the first box. That's probably why they're giving me two more because I did rate my, my teas. This month I got a little card that tells more about one of the tea companies that were represented, Ahmad Tea. And then also every month they send you one reusable cloth tea bag, but inside are um, disposable tea bags which come in really handy if you don't use a steeper so every month they give you enough of these to cover 
all of your loose leaf tea that is sent in your box. There you have it. That is the four teas that I was sent from Sips by this month. I know that many of you mentioned you had never heard of this company and tr wanted to try it out. I do have a code in the description box below, JAMS5, so that you can get $5 off of your first box. So instead of $15 a month, it will just be $10. I think $15 a month anyway is such a great price to try out some new teas. If you don't already have your go-to favorite, even if you do and you want to try out something different, this would be a great subscription for yourself. It also would make a great gift for the book slash tea lover in your life. Go ahead and let me know if you have tried any of these teas. What kind of tea do you drink? Are you a coffee drinker or a tea drinker? I am most definitely a tea drinker. I do not like coffee. It's nasty. <laughs> Hopefully we can still be friends if you are a coffee drinker. Definitely give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I love chatting with you down in the comments about tea or anything else that you want to talk about and I will be talking to you in another video very soon. Bye.